Welcome to AWS What's New. I'm Jeff Barr. I've got three cool launches to share with you today. First up, Amazon S3 now supports AWS Private Link. I'm sure you know all about S3, but Private Link might be new to you. Private Link lets you create VPC endpoints that connect directly to an AWS service via private IP addresses. You can use this to connect your on-premises applications to the service without using public IP addresses or proxy servers. With this new launch, you can add S3 to the ever-growing list of supported services. To use this new feature, you create an interface endpoint in a VPC subnet, specify any desired security groups, and you set up an IAM policy. Then you make API calls and HTTPS requests to S3 via private IP addresses. To learn more, read Martin's blog post and the what's new. S3 batch operations are kind of mind-blowing. You set them up once, and then you perform an operation on millions or billions of objects. You can copy and restore objects, invoke a Lambda function, replace the access control list, replace all tags, or manage S3 object lock. The newest batch operation lets you delete all the tags on each targeted S3 object. You start with an S3 inventory report or a CSV list of objects to process. Then you choose the delete all tags operation and you start the job. S3 batch handles all the details. This includes managing retries and displaying a progress report. To learn more about S3 batch, you can read my original blog post. To learn more about this new feature, read the what's new. Amazon Macy helps you to find sensitive data stored in your S3 buckets. It looks for personally identified information. This includes names, addresses, credit card numbers, and country codes. Macy also lets you define your own sensitive data types. In addition to this, you get alerts when Macy finds unencrypted buckets, publicly accessible buckets, and buckets that are shared with an account that is outside of your AWS organization. The big news, we added a bunch of new capabilities to Macy. You can now create a single Macy job that spans buckets owned by multiple AWS accounts. You can instruct Macy to focus on objects that have a common prefix or several common prefixes within a bucket of interest. Macy now gives you a better pre-scan cost estimate. And last, Macy provides you with additional information about the location of any sensitive data that it finds. To learn more about this, read the what's new. And that's all for today. As always, we look forward to your feedback. You can send us an email, a tweet, or you can leave a comment below. If you've got a question about anything I've talked about today, send it my way. I'm going to pick the best one each week. I'm going to share that in a subsequent What's New video. To see some more videos just like this, subscribe to our channel, click that bell for notifications. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you again soon.